Tonight at 6, a rash of car break-ins in eastern Connecticut has police looking for a suspect. Now, one of those cars was a st state police cruiser, and a semi-automatic rifle was also stolen along with ammunition and other things. Chief Capital reporter Susan Raff has exclusive details. She is live at state police headquarters in Middletown with much more. Susan. Aaron, the state police cruiser wasn't stolen, but just about everything inside it was, including that AR-15. And state police tell us they want to find that stolen firearm and quickly. This is the state police cruiser that was broken into. It happened early Sunday morning in the driveway where the trooper lives in Danielson. The suspect stole a Bushmaster, a semi-automatic rifle, a ceramic plate carrier, which is a bulletproof vest, a raid jacket, along with 70 rounds of ammunition and a police baton. We're very concerned. We're concerned any time any of our vehicles are broken into, but in this, this aspect is uh, very alarming because a weapon or a firearm was taken. Other cars in this neighborhood were also broken into, and some were stolen. Here in neighboring Woodstock, a car was stolen from a home on Herbert Lane. Police were able to get a picture of the suspect from a gas station camera, where the suspect tried to use a stolen credit card. They also have a picture of the car the suspect was driving and a license plate number, Massachusetts plate 58V W87. State police tell us they are investigating how the suspect was able to get into the police cruiser and if the car may have been unlocked. However, the trooper, Captain Timothy Madden, tells Eyewitness News the car was locked and some type of tool was used to force the door open. Yes, he is required to lock the vehicle. He's also required to report it when, it's, when there's any problems, which he did do. Um, but there's a lot of aspects that are part of the inquiries now. The Connecticut State Police Union tells us they are offering a reward of $1,000 for that stolen firearm and anything else which was inside that police cruiser, which was all state police property. Also, Connecticut State Police are telling us that most of the homes in those neighborhoods, in those towns, were all the cars were all unlocked, and they're urging people that no matter where you live, lock your cars. We are live in Middletown, Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.